Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here at Porter Valley Ranch and today we're going to talk about hay. So in today's video, we're going to address the hay shortage and the hay crisis in America and across the globe. We're going to answer three questions. What's the deal? What's the plan? And what's the solution? So number one, what's the deal? What is the deal with this hay shortage and hay crisis? If you haven't tried to buy hay lately, number one, it's really hard to find. And number two, it's crazy expensive. Depending on what area you're in, hay has gone up 200, 300 plus percent. I just bought hay the other day and I was paying more than double what I paid for hay just a few months ago. It's crazy. So what is leading to this price increase and the shortage of hay? Well, number one, it's drought. We live in Oklahoma and we've gotten way less rain this summer than we have most summers. It's kind of gone through the spring into the summer, headed into the fall. It doesn't look like it's gonna get much better. So the drought conditions obviously add to the lack of production for most farmers. The second reason for the hay shortage is fertilizer. Fertilizer is much more expensive. It's a petroleum product. It's hard to find. A lot of it comes from Europe. It's hard to get your hands on. And if you find it, it's expensive. What a lot of farmers have chosen to do is just go without the fertilizer. They're trying to keep their costs down and the cost to the consumer, which is you down. So they've gone without fertilizer and that leads to lower yields and less cuttings of the hay fields. And then number three, just like everything in America, a lot of it comes down to fuel costs. It takes fuel to both harvest, plant, and distribute the hay. So anytime fuel goes up, the cost of goods is gonna go up and hay is no exception. So all three of those things have led to a shortage of hay, but also a dramatic price increase of hay in most areas of the country, if not all. Okay, so what's the plan? You have to have hay. If you have livestock, they have to have hay. You can feed grain all you want, but they also need that roughage. Going into the winter months, we just don't have enough grass in most parts of the country to sustain those livestock. You can use a hay calculator to figure out how much you need, but you're going to have to have it. So where are you going to find it? The number one place to find hay is on social media. We use Facebook Marketplace. We go on there and make sure and switch it to local so it's not getting shipped in. And we try to find people who have hay in our area. And even better, we try to find people who have just cut the hay. Sometimes you can pick it up out of the field and save a lot of money if you pick it up and haul it yourself. The second place to find hay is to go down to your local feed store. Don't go to the big box stores. They might have hay. It's usually low quality and it's usually pretty expensive. So go to your local feed stores if they don't have locally sourced hay, they can probably point you in the right direction of someone who has extra hay or who's getting ready to cut some. The third place to find hay is with your eyeballs. Just drive around. If you were driving through a rural area, looking off the side of the highway, sometimes you'll see hay in the field or you'll see hay that's getting ready to be cut. We like to find hay that has less badiza in it. It's a natural warmer for our goats. So we like to look for fields that have less badiza that are looking like they're getting ready to be cut. I'll just drive up, knock on the door and find out if they have some extra hay or if they're gonna have some extra hay. And again, that's the way I can get it when I get it out of the field. I know when they're gonna cut it, when they're gonna bale it. I can go to their location, put it on my trailer at a cost savings to me. So once you've found that hay and paid for that hay, you're gonna to wanna to use it wisely because it's gonna hurt your pocketbook. So make sure number one, that you are feeding hay properly. You're feeding the right amounts. You can use a hay calculator online. Simple Google search, find hay calculator, will tell you how much you should be feeding your livestock. So know how much to feed and then feed it the right way. Brings me to step number two of maximizing your hay, which is which way you feed it. Use a hay bin, use a hay rack, Use some sort of device that gets that hay up off the ground, keeps the animals from getting into it and onto it, and just lets them eat the proper proportions of hay. The third thing you wanna to do to maximize your hay is to store it properly. You got this hay, you put it in a barn, you get it out of the weather away from the elements. But you also wanna make sure that it's up off the ground. Anytime the hay is touching that ground, you're letting moisture come in, which it'll wick up through the bales. It can even go through a couple of bales. So get it up off the ground, keep it high, keep it dry, and then make sure it's well ventilated. You follow those three steps, your hay will last all winter long and stay in really good condition for your animals. So as we head into the fall and we head into the winter, I hope you've already found a source of hay if you don't already have it stored at your farm. But if you haven't, 
go ahead and get a jump on that because as we get farther into the shortage, the price is only going to go up as the demand goes up. So get your hay for the entire winter as soon as possible, store it properly, then make sure you're feeding it properly so that you can maximize the dollars on your farm.